Hello uh, and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. We are so close to finishing the game now, of course, but before we do delve into the story one final time, one last time, because we just defeated Gallius, we were in the Ivory Tower, which is the last area of the game, and we were so close to getting to the White Witch, but I just want to do Horace's story, because some of you might remember this dude here with the green hair. This is actually Horace. He's actually in his grown-up form. And I just thought it'd be really interesting to show you guys Horace's story for those who haven't seen it. I thought it'd be really cool. So we're obviously going to have to start with Spirit Medium because obviously Horace is a ghost. So let's get to this. Oh yeah, I did the previous quest that I did for Horus. He was actually in Ding Dong Dao in the cemetery, but he wasn't there the last time I did it on the video. So that was really weird. I'm guessing like I had to be at a certain point in the story for him to appear. But anyway, when I saw him, he said that he actually died by the ash. So I just thought it'd be interesting to let you guys know how he actually died. Ah, it has been a while, has it not? Huh? Uh, so, so, sorry, sir. Have we met? It's so obvious who he is, but I guess maybe I can say that because I have completed the game and everything, so I obviously know. But, you know, it, who else could it be? Who else has green hair like that? <laughs> you really don't know. Well, I suppose I have changed my appearance somewhat since we last met. He sure has. What the flippin' heck is he on about? Oliver, I have been waiting for you. I have a tale I dearly wish to share with you. Uh... Okay. There was once a kingdom where we now stand. A mighty king united the surrounding lands and established his realm here. This king treated all of his subjects equally, be they humans, animals or magical creatures. A new era of peace was dawning. Or so it seemed. But there were those who despised the king. Covetous souls who envied his power. There's always the one, isn't there? They plotted against him, sowing discord throughout the kingdom, and in doing so, set Nazca on the road to ruin. But there my memory becomes hazy. I cannot recall their names, nor even their outward appearance. Were there... 12? He's totally talking about the council. I'm pretty sure there was 12 council members, I believe. Even now that my amnesia has been cured, their faces remain hidden to me. Well, they do wear masks. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm not, I'm not sure what you want us to say. It isn't as if we've got the first flipping clue what the rotters look like. I know that, but I also know that I recorded my fears about them somewhere. I left a message, a warning, so that when people saw them, they would know to beware. But where? Wait, yes, I hid it in the magical tome that would never age or decay. The wizard's companion. That's actually pretty awesome that it never decays. Which means you must have seen it. Think, I wanted people to know what they looked like. Perhaps what they wore? Yes, that makes sense. The robes they wore are described somewhere in the book, along with a warning, you must know where it is. I'm sure that that's the key that will unlock my memories. Please help me recover what remains of my missing past. Okay, we will do, dude. We will help you recover. So, Wizard's Companion, I do actually know the answer, but I just want to look through the Wizard's Companion and just see if I can find it for you guys, because I always actually like seeing the method behind how these riddles are actually worked out. But I do actually know what the answer is. I'm just going to go into Equipment, I think, because I was looking for the, le the next location for Horace, because I wasn't sure where he was, and I actually accidentally stumbled on the answer so I know what the answer is I just want to know the method behind it and because I know the answer it makes it easier for me to actually find the thing I'm looking for in the book okay so I need to find wizard's robes here it is so I wonder how you actually work it out I don't know how you do it but he said he left a message, but I'm not sure. Maybe the message is the different letters. Because if you look, you can see that the B and the E, there's a B E W A R E, which means absolutely nothing to me right now. But <laughs> maybe that's some kind of message. Because if you look at all the other outfits, 
all the text is all in black and there's not any little red secret letters in any of the other texts so there's obviously his message but I have no idea what it means so I'm pretty sure it's wizard's robes but don't ask me how you actually find out the answer to that because I don't actually know <laughs> I've no idea maybe there is a message in the book somewhere but I just don't know what it is so wizards and then R O B E. I wonder if I have to put the apostrophe. I think I'll probably have to put the apostrophe and everything. Okay, let's go back and put the apostrophe and everything. It looks like it's really sensitive about how it does it. So, oh, it's really annoying. Where's the input key when you need it? <laughs> <laughs> Has this ever happened to you when you're typing, like if you're, if you're typing something and then you go back to like change something and then it starts deleting the previous text that you've written before and it's really annoying. You have to press input to stop it from doing it. It's not that. I thought that's what it was. Oh, I'm mistaken. I got it wrong. I honestly thought that's what the answer was. Oh my god. What is the, the answer? Maybe it's also case sensitive. Let me try the... let me try. Maybe it's case sensitive. Let's try that. Wizard's robe? Oh my god, it was case sensitive. That's so stupid. Yes, that's right. Now I remember. Those fiends clad themselves in wizard's robes. I can see them now, deep in deliberation. They wore the council of the twelve. Each member was given the title of Zodiac. Uh, and that is not all. Well, come on, Mun. Spit it out. What have you remembered? I was there. All those millennia ago, I swore fealty to the Wizard King. Yes, I now remember. I was the Sage of Nazca. You were? But that means... Do you know Cassiopeia? Wh what? How do you know that name? Cassiopeia. Queen Cassiopeia. It was so long ago. I have sensed her spirit at times. Over the years, it is unmistakably her. But I know not what befell her. I think I'd better take you over here. Now pay attention because I'll only say this once. Oh god, poor guy. I wonder what he's going to think after he learns about what happened. I I see. So Queen Cassiopeia, she she gave in to the darkness. And that ash I saw fall on Ding Dong Dao, that was her doing? But Oliver, you really might be the one to save her. The Wizard King entrusted you with his wand after all. Oh, we'll save her, sir. I just know we will. Ah, that's the spirit. Of course, the Wizard King's wand is not yet at full strength, of course. <laughs> Flippin' heck, not this again. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Fear not. To one who was once called the Sage of Ages, it is but a trifling matter. Huh? Eh? So we don't have to go traipsing round after magic stones then? Thank Flip for that. Now let me begin. Awake, O oh wand of the Wizard King. Awake, O oh Astra. Yeah, we got the Astra spell. Apparently this is actually a really strong spell as well. Which is why I was actually recommended in my last video in the comments section to actually go and grab this beforehand. But I was already going to do it anyway, so they read my mind. <laughs> so it's uh, all ready to go now, huh? Gee, thank you, sir. The true power that dwells within a wand can sometimes require effort to be drawn out. I believe that you alone can harness the full power of Astra. With it, you will be able to cast spells that only a king among wizards has ever wielded. I sure hope so. And you're sure you're alright setting the likes of us loose with such snazzy spells? We've just met you after all. No we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> You've never had a problem accepting spells with, from me before. You what? What do you mean before? Hold on a minute. You're not telling me. Oh my god, they're so, so slow on the uptake, aren't they? You're Horace. <laughs> I was wondering when the Gilder would drop <laughs> in it, though. Literally, they're so, they're so slow. Better late than never. I know. Indeed, I was once the sage known as Horologium, or Horace, to my friends. Yeah, Horace is so much easier to say. Who would have thought a mouthy little brat like Horace would have grown up to be so important looking, eh? <laughs> How many times must I, must I tell you? I was the Sage of Ages. I was no normal boy. Wow, so does this mean you finally got your memory back? Indeed it does, and I have much to thank you for. Now, there is little I can do to save Queen Cassiopeia in my current state. Of course. <laughs> I am afraid that I must humbly ask you to do all in your power to free her from the darkness. 
Sure thing, Horace. We'll save her. You see if we don't. I like how easily Oliver is just like, sure. I mean, we're going to do it anyway, but hey. You are a brave and pure-hearted warrior, Oliver. I will pray for your success. Thank you. Is that it? Are we done? Is that it? Oh, okay, that's it. But if I remember, I read something about there being a errand that we can now pick up. So if we click on the errand board here, I could have sworn that we unlocked a new errand after that. Maybe we have to finish the game to get it because it really doesn't look like there's much for us to get there. So yeah, let's go and finish the game. <laughs> Yay! Let's finish the game. Well, probably a few more episodes, but yeah, we're going to go back to the final dungeon now. Oh yeah, I actually did forget to say that I did grind out my errands and I did level my characters up a few levels. I completely forgot to say that actually, <laughs> but I was like level 48 or 49 and I'm now level 51. So I definitely went up a few levels and I think it was really, really necessary. Like we seriously needed a few levels at least to be able to, you know, do the emboss. I'm not sure how far we'll get with the emboss, but I've got a ton of supplies after doing all of the errands as well. So got lots of supplies i'll show you really quickly but we've got 96 sandwiches we've got one fish burger we've got 25 cheeseburgers we've got tikka mahala we've got coffee there coffee here 35 phoenix feathers so yeah it's not bad it's not bad it's a nice little amount of supplies there so hopefully it will be enough but we will see we will see all right let's go we've not explored this section of the palace not quite how i'm not quite sure how far this goes our veil just wore off as well so perfect timing really because you know we should really be doing some fighting okay i'm not sure how far we've got to go but it can't be much further okay we're full health and everything so let's get to this let's do some battling and stuff I will miss this game because I absolutely adore Nino Kuni. The original just has something to it that just, I don't know, just makes me think of my childhood. I just love it so much. I'm not quite sure about the second game. Like, I do really love the second game, but I'm not sure if it quite captures the childhood feeling that I get with this game. Not yet, anyway. I might just need to play a little bit more. I'm not entirely sure yet. We will see, we will see. I also love this traditional turn-based style as well. It's really good. Okay, Marcuson's really low. Let's help him out a little bit. Let's help him out. Here you go. Healing touch. Come on, Marcuson. You can heal yourself. Why are you running around? There you go. He's healed himself. Awesome. I got to heal myself as well. There we go. All right, back to the battling. Let's take the suit out. He's already halfway, so we're doing pretty good. Let's just keep pummeling away at the boss. I love his little hands. His hands, he looks like a magician or something. <laughs> it looks pretty awesome. I love the little orb things on the sides of his shoulders as well. Okay, let's keep going. He does so much damage, doesn't he? I wonder if we will even last against the queen. I'm pretty sure I have bad equipment as well. I probably, that should have been something I did. I probably should have brought some more equipment because I do take a lot of damage, don't I? I never really bothered with uh, equipment on this playthrough, which was probably quite bad. All right, let's do this. Let's take this dude down. Go, go, go. Yeah, victory. Let's continue, guys. I'm so excited. I'm getting so excited because I know the finale is coming and I'm getting really excited. I always get excited on finales because that's when all the good stuff happens. That's when all the drama unfolds and that's where all the good plot points appear and I love I love it when we get to the end I know it's sad because like it's gonna end and we're not gonna see the game anymore but it's also cool because we're gonna get to see the actual ending and I feel I have mixed feelings like with anime as well I always have mixed feelings with it it's awesome but sad wow that astra spell is so OP <laughs> Wow, I just did 420 damage on that enemy just from that one spell. So that was pretty impressive, I've got to say. Okay, let's do some healing. There we go. Okay, onwards we go. Can we go through these little, ah, there's like little side little pathways here. Let's check these out. Might get some XP and stuff for our exploration exploits, of course. Okay, oh God, my enemy. Okay, you know what? I'll fight him. I'll fight him. 
There we go. Let's continue exploring. Let's do it. Let's put our explorer hats on. Let's see what we can find. Maybe some chests, maybe something to help us. Oh yeah, I also caught one of these paladin partridges. I'm not sure if I already had one of those, but I wanted to get another one just in case. Alright, I'm going to use the veil because I just want to have a little a little look around, a little look-see around this area because we'll be here all night otherwise. Okay, let's get this chest down here. Awesome! I did spend a little time levelling as well, so hopefully we'll be alright. The enemies here are literally just really strong though, so I'm not sure if we're under leveled or if the monsters here are just literally that strong. I feel like they are a little bit too strong. But we will see. Okay, I see an owl down there. It looks actually a pretty cool monster. All right, and now to look up the opposite side. This place is really big, isn't it? It takes forever to explore this place too. Okay, straight up the top. Anything? Nope. Okay, nothing up there. Let's go down this little passageway. Yep, we got a nice little chest just waiting to be plundered. All right, let's get this chest. Oh yeah, Marcuson died. I completely forgot about that and I'm really low on mana as well. So I should probably wait till I get to a save point or something. That would be awesome. Okay, so let's see if I can just restore Marcuson's health slightly. There we go. Should be alright now. And then, yeah, let's keep going. Oh, before I forget, I just want to re-equip my characters. I knew they had got some better stuff here. Okay, on this one... Yep, I'm just going to make sure all my people have the good stuff equipped. Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. Nearly there, guys, nearly there. Okay, so I just need to backtrack to the main hall where we first started. And then we're going to go down the opposite side. I really hope that we come up to a safe point at some point. Is there monsters around here? Yeah, um, you know... I'm just going to backtrack a little bit just to get to a save point because I've completely run out of mana and it always helps to, you know, have some mana, of course. And I don't want to use some items. I don't want to use items, so yeah, let's go back to the save point. It wasn't that far away anyway. Okay, this is where we were. Let's continue. I'm just going to check down the bottom way. And then we'll go towards the objective. We're getting so close now. I can't wait to see what the ending was. Because I honestly can't remember. Wouldn't it be awesome if it had multiple endings? I don't think this game does. But I love games that have multiple endings. Because it makes you play them more. And I really like that. I believe Persona has multiple endings. So yeah, pretty awesome. And Catherine has multiple endings. I guess Atlas likes doing multiple endings. I guess they like making you play the game lots of times, which is a good thing, I guess. Okay, do I go down? Oh god, I've been spotted. Is that the way to go, do you think? I think it might be. Okay, no, I don't want to fight you yet. I'm just going to go backwards a second because I think that there was a way down this way and I don't think it was the objective. I think the objective was up there with that robot somewhere. So I just want to check here just to see if there's anything we can grab. It might be a lost cause, like I might be wasting my time. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not wasting my time. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. But at least we got a back attack. I don't think I've fought these sharp hooters before, so I was actually curious about fighting these anyway, so I guess that was a good thing that we actually got into a battle with these dudes. Alright, I'm going to conserve my MP. I might need it. These actually seem really easy, these owls. They look like posh, posh owls. Maybe this is what the hooter kit was inspired by. <laughs> these little owl critters. Oh no, it's put me to sleep and Esther's really low on life. Oh, I'm in, he missed me. Nice, that was really lucky. Esther was almost a goner, but I saved her. I saved her, yeah. Saved by Oliver's healing touch. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to be all right. Just going to give Markson another heal. Oh God, Markson's getting seriously attacked right now. Okay, he's all right, he's all right. All right, back to attacking, back to attacking. Let's go for these owls. Sharp Hooter B. I find it funny that they call them like A and B. <laughs> At least it like lets you know which one's which, I suppose, so you don't get confused. I like how it does that. Okay, we're done, woo! And now we can get our chest, which is awesome. I should probably change out that 
that familiar actually. I should probably change out Jabbo because he was actually for a quest and yeah, I probably am not going to complete it. I'm probably going to complete the game before I complete that request, so <laughs> yes. Okay, I don't really want to get into another battle on the way. I'll fight that Magitech. I'll fight that magic armor dude, but I don't want to fight that partridge. Not at the moment anyway. I just want to get to the end now. I just want to fight the, the witch. I just want the final encounter. I hope we can do it though. Actually, I'm just going to avoid the magi, the magi dude, the magic robot things. I can't think what they're called. <laughs> All right. How much further do you think we have to go? My god, this is place this place is bigger than I remembered. We got gold ones now. I'm actually going to fight one of these because I have never fought one of these before. I believe that this dude do they not come out if you have... I know this dude's alive. Look, you can see him moving. <laughs> I guess I can't actually initiate combat whilst I'm under Veil. They actually have to come to me, which is a little bit annoying because I'm under Veil right now and it's not like I can just pop it on and off. It goes off when it runs out. So not really much I can do there, I'm afraid. Okay, so down here... There's a chest. Good, good, good. And there was a little way to explore behind us as well like a little passageway a sorcerer's soul interesting ah new weapon nice cool my mermite has finally got a new weapon you know what i might be able to equip his old weapon on a different character let me just check just to see if everybody's wearing the right thing there we go radiant blade on that one i thought that would have been the case okay Let's go then. Now that we have a nice little upgrade of our equipment, I'm going to go across here just to see... Hey, we can fight that robot now. I'm sure there will be another one of those robots further into the dungeon though. So we'll keep going. It's okay, Drippy. You won't fall. Honest. Just don't... Don't look down. Whatever you do, don't look down. <laughs> That's what they always say. And then you inevitably end up looking down because somebody's told you not to look down so that obviously makes you look down <laughs> okay i think there's nothing up here which is a complete shame because i just completely wasted my time which really sucks okay i think there might be another one of these little wall shimmies further on down into the hallway come on mr drippy move those little legs move those midget legs <laughs> you got this mr drippy Look at his lantern. He's, he's scared he's going to drop his lantern. Why the hell does he have a lantern on his nose anyway? That's so random. Oh, look, we, we have different Sinister Sovereign. It's an actual different version of the Ice Queen as well. Because they actually stem from the Ice Queens. I think we're going to be out of mana after this battle. Let's kill the Mermites. They don't actually seem that... Strong. They don't actually seem that bad to kill, but they obviously both have the cut loose skill, so hopefully they don't both use that because that would be an absolute nightmare. Okay, Marcusin's using Thunderstorm. Go, go, go! Yeah! Alright, let's go and hunt down this Mermite. I see the Mermite. I see what you're doing there. I'm not going to let you have your way. There we go, that one's down. This seems really easy actually. Not bad, not bad. We took this one out really fast and easily, actually. I wonder how much mana we've got left over from that battle. Because it usually takes like two battles and then I'm completely out of mana. <laughs> Let's see how much we actually have. Uh, we have a little bit, but yeah, we're pretty much almost spent with our mana, unfortunately. So, oh my god, there's a big massive tin can. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down a little bit further because I believe that the next wall shimmy will probably lead me to a save point, right? Oh no, it's a chest, but there might be one further down. There's got to be another save point somewhere near us because we're coming up to the end. So there should definitely be a save point towards the end, I think, I believe. Okay, let's go and see what this chest contains. Nearly there, nearly there now. Come on, Drippy, keep up, keep up, would ya? All right, what is it? What is it this time? It's a vial of Wizard's King's secret. What is that? I'm curious about what that is. It fully restores HP and MP to all allies. That's actually a really nice item. <laughs> I'm so glad I went to pick that up. All right, let me just shimmy on back over. I made it! 
we made it to the other side yeah all right so close now so close to the end guys look i see the steps going up to the actual thing back here oh yeah we're nearly there guys isn't it exciting it's exciting and there's more of these robot things you know what we're just gonna completely ignore these robots who cares about these stupid robots just because they got a bit of gold on them doesn't mean they're stronger than us okay <laughs> through the portal yeah have we arrived or is there more to explore <gasps> the music changed dun 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 it's gone quiet and ominous we're so close now guys let's do this let's do this in the next episode <laughs> we'll have more time then i hope you enjoyed this episode though thank you for watching please comment rate and subscribe and i hope i'll see you next time Even get to oh.